Hello. Next look. Um, hopefully you guys can tell. This is Beetlejuice. <laughs> uh, if the stripes didn't give it away. Don't know what will. Um, <laughs> this was requested by the Snooch123. I'll put the link there. Thanks so much for requesting this look. Um, I hope I did it justice for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's quite difficult to do. Well, the, the actual makeup itself isn't that hard. It's the wig. I mean, you don't have to use a ball cap, but it does help the effect to get the really, really far back receding hairline. Um, but, I mean, even without that, it's still quite an effective look. So I hope you guys like it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to see how to do this look. First things first, um, I'm going to use a ball cap because Beetlejuice's hair starts about there, something like that. So I need all this to be bald. So um, I've made my ball cap. You can get your ball caps from most party shops. Um, I'm just in the latex ball cap. Um, you can get them from party shops or you can make them yourself. Or um, as I say in all of my videos, I sell them. They're in the link below. Um, and all I did was I took my ball cap and I applied layers of Pro Stick, or you could use spirit, spirit gum, any kind of adhesive. Um, and I layered on some white crepe hair in rows. Um, I used yeah white crepe hair, but I sprayed it with green and black and yellow hairspray just so I can get a gross, mouldy effect. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've stopped on the sides and on top because when I apply it, I want to taper off on the sides and I want it to look. Right, so I've left the top bit, so you'll see how to lay ahead then when I get on, but yeah. Okay, so just so you can have a lovely look at it. And I've cut, it, there's no particular cut with this, I just cut random places to make it look all choppy and that. I'm going to do some more to it at the end. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make it look as rough as possible. <laughs> okay, okay, so now I've already moisturised and I'm going to apply some Pro Stick, or you can use Spirit Gum. And I'm going to use that all along my hairline, where I'm going to apply the ball cap. I'm using cotton buds to apply my Pro Stick because um, Pro Stick has a tendency to ruin brushes. So <laughs> let's just apply that all over. So you're going to let that dry and then do another coat. And when that starts going dry and tacky, you can apply your ball caps. So it's got something good to grip onto. Okay, so now that's started going dry and tacky, I'm going to apply my ball cap. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut off the excess before I fully press the edges down. I'm just going to cut off around my ear. I've finished cutting my ball cap um, and I've I added a little bit of glue underneath, a little bit of pro stick underneath the edges and held them down. Um, if you check out some other tutorials like my Dark Mall tutorial, my Red Queen tutorial, I go a bit more in depth on how to apply ball cap then. So I'm going to take some liquid latex and a sponge and I'm going to dab a generous amount all over the edges. Okay, I'm going to do that and let it dry and do it to about three to four coats so that when I run my finger over it, you can't feel an edge. Okie dokie? Yeah. Right, I'm onto about my fourth coat now of liquid latex. And then I'm just going to take the latex and I'm just going to go down my neck. Just in no particular pan, just as long as it covers one side of the neck like that. Because this is going to be one of the larger areas where there's going to be a lot of moss. I'm just going to apply it down this side as well. It doesn't want to be symmetrical, it just wants to be in random places really. Okay, and then I just applied a couple little dabs of liquid latex, just in odd places, not really heavy amounts, just small, like that, just to add some texture to the face. I'm going to be adding more to the lip area and everything, but that will be after I've done the foundation. This is just to add some texture to where there's going to be loads of moss effect, basically, just to add some depth. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the um, base, the foundation colour. So, right, I'm going to be using a mixture of Snazaroo Clown White and Max Studio Fix Fluid in NC15. So just like one part of that to two parts of that this time, just to... Yeah, so it's going to be really, really white, but there's going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of flesh tone in there. So I'm just going to mix that together, and I'm just going to apply it all over. Okay, so I've left my eye area completely clean of makeup, because I'm going to be applying some watercolour or some creams to it. And it's a lot easier to apply to uh, naked skin than it is to apply over a base, yeah. <laughs> Because um, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to powder it with some Grimace translucent powder, because that will hold it all in place. So now I'm just going to press in my translucent powder. And I'm just going to just brush off all the excess then. So I'm going to take some crepe hair, 
Um, I, I literally made a huge batch of this, like I did for this. Um, you can buy crepe hair in most, well, pretty much in most party shops, really. It's in like a roll that you unravel and it's crinkled, uh, crinkled. So you can, I mean, I put mine over, a, over steam, over an iron, and it straightens out the hair. Um, but yeah, I've been cutting it to various lengths, and I've already pre-coloured it, as I said, with this. So I've been cutting it to the right lengths that I need, so I can stick it down in the places that I want. Like that. So I'm just going to figure out where I want the hair to start. Because I've coloured up to there, so it doesn't matter if I go beyond that, it's not a massive problem. And I'm just going to uh, get some more of my Pro Stick, or you can use a said Spirit Gun. And I'm just going to apply a really fine line in uh, small areas where I want the hair to go. So don't do too much hair at once, because it'll just be like, it won't look as natural. Not that this looks natural, but it won't look as even, if that makes sense. So just do a fine, thin layer at a time and just layer it up. Okie dokie. I use a pintail comb just because it's got a flat edge and it can push it down really nicely without getting your fingers all sticky and yeah. So I'm just going to layer it down in the position that I want and I'm just going to push the hair down. Just pull at it and it'll come off. And then you're left with a really, really, really neat edge. Ta da! So yes, it is very time consuming but it'll be worth it in the end. So just keep doing that all over. Keep pulling it off and then doing an extra layer over the top if you want it to be extra thicker until you've got your hairline. Also, I should have mentioned before, when you layer it down, make sure the edge is incredibly even, like that. Okay, not that you want it to look even when you apply it, it's just a lot easier to get when you pull it away, it looks a lot more natural. Okay, so I'm not finished yet, but what I've started doing is, on this side, um, as I've got a couple layers in, I've just got my pintail comb and I've been pulling it downwards, really gently, not digging it in, because otherwise it'll take too much of the hair up. And it's just been removing some of the excess hair that's not been glued down well enough and it's made it look less fluffy. Um, obviously that's not going to be the final look, I'm going to put some wax in it and make it look more gross and twisted, but it'll make it look less matte because we don't we want it to look more like hair, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to carry on layering and every few layers, once it's dry, I'm just going to do that just to remove too much of the volume because we don't want it to look too thick. Okay, so I'm, st I'm still not done, as, as I said it takes a long time to do. Um, but I've still got a little bit more to apply on my hairline, but as I've been going in and just teasing it, teasing the hair, back combing random parts, just so it looks, all the hairs look individual, none of it looks too crepey. Like this area here is too many individual strands, so I just want to make sure they're separated and... Okay, there we are. So I'm happy with the amount of hair that I've got in there. Um, I'm going to style it, I think, actually at the end. I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to do something in a little bit now. I'm just going to take some... Tresemme freeze hold hairspray because um, this stuff is solid. It's it's amazing. This is, this stuff could stop a bird in motion. It's that strong. Um, but I'm just gonna spray a little bit of it all along my hairline, just so I know all the hairs are gonna stay in place. Because the fronts, it's really really important. Right. So for the moss, um, I'm gonna be using something a little bit weird, a little bit different from what I usually use. Um, I got it in an arts and crafts store. It's actually um, embossing powder, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. So yeah, um, it's like a green powder. This one's called Heat It Up Embossing Powder. Yeah, basically. Um, just a green powder, really. Now, you could use, if you can get hold of this, I mean, it looks, it looks like it'd be perfect for moss. I hope it will be. Um, you could always just use liquid latex and colour it green, or you could use eyeshadow or... I mean, there's quite a few things you could use. I mean, main one would probably be wax or liquid latex, but I'm just going to use this because I think it would be a cool effect. Uh, that's going to go all along the hairline um, and all the areas where I've put the liquid latex, like on my neck. Um, but to start with, I'm going to apply some Pro Stick in the areas all around there. I think that's what I meant. Hair's meant to be as well. It's meant to come out like the moss has taken over kind of thing. So yeah, just all around the hairline first. And I'm just going to take a small fluffy brush and some of the powder and I'm just going to see if this works. Hopefully it does. And I'm just going to press it over the liquid, uh, over the uh, Pro Stick. And for the larger areas, I'm going to take some more liquid latex and just dab it over where I had it before. You can tell because of the texture of the skin. You can't really see on the camera, but you'll be able to feel where you put it before and see how uneven the skin area is. Okay, I also put some over my lip as well, so um, it looks like he's got a moustache or a beard rather made of moss. It's quite gross. So yeah, I'm just going to let that not dry. I'm just going to give it a few seconds just to go a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to apply the moss directly to it. It's 
This colour is a lot lighter on camera than it is in dark. You'll see in the photos, it's a lot more moss coloured, if that makes sense. <laughs> I then took a Rimmel London Coal Eyeshadow Pencil. In fact, using this pencil, I was just drawing on some of the mossy veins type thing coming on. Um, just squiggling onto the face and tracking off. They're not that important, I just thought a little bit of extra fine detail might be a bit interesting. Right, for the eyes, I'm going to be using a mixture of creams. Um, from the pictures, it's difficult, I mean, from the movie, watching it back and forth, it's difficult to pinpoint a colour. There is definitely purples and browns in there, um, it's obviously blacks, but I'm just going to go for, yeah, dark brown with a slight hint of purple, maybe. It's, it doesn't really matter, as long as there's no vibrant colour in there. The idea is it's, it's sun good eyes, isn't it? So, um, I'm going to be using, um, the first colour I'm going to be using is a Grimace brown cream colour, um, and I'm just going to apply that in this shape around my eyes, not circle, just following the shape of my eyebrows. When you're doing this, try not to go straight. Try, try and make each curve a little bit rounded because if you start going straight down, um, you're going to be in danger of looking like Dr. Frank on a very bad day. And we don't want that. So, um, just try and get that Still with the harsh edges, but rounded, okay? Right, so when you're happy with the shape, try not to go too big. Make it a little bit smaller than you want to, because um, I'm going to blend this. Now, his eyes, there is very, very, very little blending going on. Um, it's just that the edges are a tiny bit tapered out. That's it. It's a big block colour, um, which... I don't know why they did that. It's, it's brilliant. It's an effective look. It, I just don't know... Uh, my urge is to want to blend this out completely, but try and refrain from doing it if you want to look exactly if you want to look as close to him as you possibly can. So, yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dry brush with no colour on it, and I'm just going to push the edges outwards very, very, very gently. Okay, I'm then going to take a smallish fluffy brush and. <laughs> Uh, my MAC Venomous Villain collection, my, um, it's called My Dark Magic Mineral, Mineral Eyeshadow. I'm using this just because it's one of my most favourite eyeshadows in my clip, in my kit. So, uh, but it has got, um, several pet shades of purple and pink in there, but I'm not gonna, you don't need to do this, this is just to set the cream, um, because otherwise it will keep blending and it just keeps it in place. But um, you could use black eyeshadow to set it if you want. Um, because as you can see, as you start blinking, it starts rubbing off on the eyelids, so you need to set it. So, I'm going to just take a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of that and just press it over the brown colour, and that will give you a hint of purple at least then. Okay, so, um, I oh, also meant to mention, you can go in with the, because I'm using cream, you can go in the waterline of your eye if you want to. You don't have to, it just makes them look a lot darker. I've not done that yet, but all I'm going to do is take some of the brown, um, the brown cream, and I'm just going to pull my eyelid down and just go in the waterline like that. You can use MAC Fluid Lines, great for that, but that's the only one I've got of that is black, and I think it will show up too much if there's a colour difference. So you can see how much of a difference it makes, that's the eye I've done. It just makes it look that much deeper and darker, so yeah, just going to do that again on this eye. Okie dokie, for the next step, I'm going to be applying some uh, Mayron uh, Nicotine Tooth Decay effects, basically, on my teeth. So, because, it, obviously, they can't be white, they have to look yellow and gross and black and bleh, gross, really gross. Just as long as your teeth are clean and dry, so wipe them with a tissue first, and apply a couple of coats of this, and let them dry, and apply another coat, um, it's fine, it will stay on really well. Okay, so I'm going to apply this, and I'll get back to you. Okay, and they start like that. Yeah, yuck. <laughs> um, and... I'm now just taking some L'Oreal, I can't this worn off, I, took, I got this a long time ago, it's just a cheap eyeshadow I got for body painting sh uh, shading. Um, it's just a, a, duo, a duo palette of, yeah, just a light brown and a dark brown. I'm just taking this big fluffy brush, mixing up the two, and just taking off the excess so there's no harsh colour, it's harsh, like, amounts of colour. And I'm just rubbing it in random areas, just to look a bit more dirty and... So it's not as pure white. <laughs> and that's it. All done. Um, yeah, for my for hair, I literally just got some um, wax, hair wax, and just ran my fingers through it and sprayed it in a position that I wanted. 
Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really matter as long as it looks rough and messy and bleh. Um, you're pretty set. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long since the last one, and I always say that this time I had an excuse. I wasn't well at all. I had some kind of flu yuckness, so I couldn't talk or anything. It was awful. Lost my voice. So yeah. But yeah, I'm back now. Yay. And um, yeah, so thanks to the snitch for uh, recommending this look, for requesting it. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. So if you want to see any more pictures of this look, um, just check out the description box below because it's got pictures. It's got my uh, Facebook fan page type thing where you can go to like it if you like it, basically. And I'd love you forever. Um, my website is also in the link below, so you can check out other makeups that I've done in the past and everything. And yeah, so if you've got any questions or know how to do anything, don't hesitate to ask. Just either send me a message or um, comment below anything. Just send your requests. I'll be happy to do them. And yeah. Hmm. Okay, until next time. Bye.